Welcome back. This month, nearly 4,000 women will be diagnosed with breast cancer, uh, the most common cancer in the UK. So for the whole of this month, cancer charities are raising awareness by encouraging women to undergo regular checks. In a moment, Dr Chris will be showing you the best way to examine yourself. But first, Sue Davies found a lump purely by accident almost a year ago, and since then she has been writing about her battle to beat the disease in an online diary. Sue joins us now. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. Lovely to see you. So, you discovered this lump completely by accident, and it yes. was kind of in between Christmas and New Year just gone. So, what happened? Um, I was celebrating this, the festivities. I was at my brother's flat with his fiancée, and we were drink, drinking and eating lots of food, and I was just brushing some food off my chest. And as it was quite high up, I sort of like, oh, that's, that's not right. Nice. Yes, definitely. And at that time, did you kind of think what it might be? Did you sort of think, oh, that's a lump? Maybe. Well, that... I can't. A little bit, and mm. I was thinking, oh, I, I think I might need to get that checked if that doesn't sort of disappear. But you did put it off, didn't you? You didn't yes. go straight to the doctor's. No, kind of in a bit of denial. You know, it's not, it's not happening. And um, you I didn't left. check yourself anyway, do you? You weren't one of those women no. who were regularly checked yourself. No. Um, so this was a lucky, a lucky. It was a lucky catch. Yeah, uh, and, and as Holly said, they you, you lived practically opposite the doctors anyway and still didn't go. Was it because you thought, I'm frightened of what I might be told? Yes, most definitely. You're in denial. And you think, oh, it's going to go away, you know, it disappear, and it didn't. And we had, um, my daughter was sent home from school because it snowed, mm. and I was told, oh, don't come into work, stay at home. And I had a bit of quick think, well, there'll be mm. some cancellations at the doctor's, and mm. I phoned up, and I only had to wait 20 minutes. So it wasn't as if I was making an appointment two days later, you mm. know, be sat there going, ooh. Yeah, worried about so, it. So um, I got seen, and uh, my doctor confirmed the abnormality was there, and put me on the two-week wait referral for the consultant at the local hospital. And then you went through various different tests, you had a mammogram, an yep. ultrasound, a core biopsy, a needle test on the lump, and it was all inconclusive. Yes. And then you went back and had a further biopsy. Uh, no, um, I went back for the results of the test right. um, to confirm that it was cancer. Uh, and okay. so when you were finally, your absolute worst fears mm. are confirmed there. And, uh, and you're not only thinking about yourself, but you've got to think about yes. your daughter as well. You're thinking about Holly. Yep. What, what was going through your mind? Well, I suddenly had an attack of verbal diarrhoea, and I asked all those questions, you know, about what about my daughter, what about my sister, what about my niece? And the consultant assured me that, you know, at the moment that's irrelevant, and what they need to do is formulate the treatment plan and, you know, consider what they've got to do to get me well and back on the road again. Um, I can't remember his answers or anything. Mm. My friend who came with me was, you know, taking all the notes down for me. And he, can't, he gave some reassurance, but your mind just goes blank mm. and sure. you can't make decisions about whether to have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, never mind soak in what he's trying to tell you. And how do you go about telling your daughter? I mean, it must oh. be the, one of the most difficult conversations you ever yes, have to have. Yes, it was. Um, that day, I went and sat in the car park so that she wouldn't suspect Mum's home early, what's wrong? And I practised being calm, telling a couple of close friends over the phone because I didn't want to break down in front of her. Sure. And um, when I got home and I said, oh, I've got something to tell you, um, and I just had to come out with it. And her initial response was, why have you caught that? You don't smoke. Mm. Oh. And, you know, I assured her it was nothing to do with smoking. And, you know, it, hopefully it was going to be curative. And I was on some treatment already. And, you know, and we just got to work things out. Well, you've sort of battled your way through chemotherapy. And I use the mm. word battle because you've got fear of needles. Yeah. <laughs> so that doesn't help. Nope. Um, but, and, you've had, and you have had a particularly nasty reaction to it as well, yes, didn't you? Yes, when they changed my drugs. Yeah. Came out in adverse reaction. Um, I went all hot while they were actually giving me the infusion and it went up my neck. Mm. And I hadn't appreciated because you're just sat there thinking, I'm just getting a bit hot. And it was somebody else, another patient's husband, that said, Are you all right? And I, I don't think I am. And, oh. you know, and then I pressed the buzzer and I had four nurses come rushing round me, pulling the screen round, and you get terrified then. Thinking, What's wrong? And yet, despite all this, you've decided to help others and let them know what you're going through. Yeah. 
yes. and by having this online blog. Where... Well, initially, that I started that after being diagnosed and letting my close friends and family know to... Um, let them know what was going on because my priority really was going to be looking after myself and Holly, not phoning around everybody and letting them know how awful I was feeling or how well I was feeling. So that's how it started out. And, um, and then I used it actually to download my head because, you know, I don't want to come home and shout at Holly, oh, I feel awful today. It was an outlet. So it was an outlet for me, which worked out quite well. Well, they're helping and they're enormously helpful as well. We'll put a link to it on our, on our website. Thank you. Um,